Okay, this is a tutorial on some of the basics of Blender. First of all, there's a few user preferences that I like to change. Unity has a few funky default settings. So I like to change from trackball to turntable. And I like to turn auto perspective on. So that's just a couple things that I like to change right off from the start. That makes it so that you can turn around it like this instead of acting like a trackball when you don't actually have a trackball. And then it should auto perspective change to orthographic when you look at the side views using the numpad. And then switch back when you scroll. So uh, to look around I'm just using middle mouse key. M middle mouse button I mean. Okay. So this was kind of an answer to a friend's question about Blender. He's just getting started so it's kind of a easy thing to do but uh, so we're gonna start off we're gonna delete the cube and he had a UV sphere and we'll rotate that we'll go around 90 degrees and then R I'm using hotkeys so R is rotate R and then you hit the middle mouse button to select an axis. So you can rotate around the axis. You can so now I can go up and down and it'll just go around it. So again and then to cancel doing a transformation just right click and it'll set it back to what it was before you started. I'm being a little quiet because my roommates are sleeping, so hopefully you can hear. Alright, so then we're gonna move that over a couple spaces and then add a cylinder rotate 90 degrees we're gonna ro move this in and what he was doing was he was having problems with uh, getting the vertices to snap together so we're gonna take these two objects we're gonna shift and then right click to select both of them and then we're going to hit join to join them together now they're one object and we can go and tab into edit mode and we're going to select this button so that we can see all the faces and now there's a lot of faces in here that we don't need so actually what I'll do is I'll undo so that they're no longer joined together I'm just going to move that over here and edit this I'll just go into uh, and shift middle mouse button to move around in this view I hit uh, 7 to view from the top on the numpad and then hit A to unselect them then B to box select and drag and then I'm just gonna switch to faces select all these hit delete faces, hit tab to switch back to object mode, rotate around here, yeah, just like that. And now it's it's going really easy because I use, there's the same number of subdivisions on the cylinder as there is on the sphere, so it looks really well joined together, but it's not joined together yet, so we'll join, and then the capsule has this right here. Let's switch back to vertice mode. I'm gonna delete that. Vertice. Except it didn't. Okay. Make sure we didn't delete the wrong one. Yeah. Okay, looks good. Alright, so now there should be no faces on the inside like we want it. Okay. So now, you th it looks all good, but in actuality there's two vertices right here so you can uh, you can do a couple different things you can uh, hit vertices remove doubles and sometimes that works but here it says remove zero vertices so obviously it didn't work so it doesn't think they're doubles that's alright there's an easier other, another way to do it you can hit shift and click again to select both of them hit W and then merge 
and then you can select at first, at last, at center, at cursor, or collapse. So if you select at first, it'll be it'll move them both to this position of the first one selected. At last, it'll be at the position of the last vertice selected. This will be at the center of the vertices. Um, so, but since they're both at the same spot, it doesn't matter for us. So we'll just do it first. And now, when you click on it, you see there's see here there's lines that will tell you which one's selected. This one, they're all selected. So we can just hit. See now. And then you can just keep doing that. So uh, yeah pretty easy. I use a lot of hotkeys, so if you are wondering how I did something, just post in the comments, and I'll try and answer it or edit the video to show. And it, it, another, another way to show why we do this is that if you select and move this, leaves a tear here, it's open, undo that, but if you select the one that has been fixed, it moves together. So that's one reason to do it, it's also a little bit more optimized. Now I've fixed all of those. I'll probably skip ahead to this point in the video, so I'll have all of these fixed now. Um, so that's one way to do it. Now, if you want a different way to do it, we can just uh, start over, and then we can make a cylinder. Rotate it. 90 degrees. Control is constrains it to looks like increments of 5, so it's easy to get the 90 degrees. You can see it down here when I'm changing it. See down here. Right click cancels. Move that back kind of centered. So we'll go into edit mode. Select faces. Deselect all with A. B select, and then if you hit E, you can extrude, and then Control Shift constrains to smaller area. I think my computer's going a little bit slow because of the recording. But you can do that, and then scale. Now this this would be a little bit less of a it would be harder to get a sphere. Um, created this way, but if you wanted a nose to ship or something, you could... that's another way to do it. See? And then you can do all sorts of stuff with extrude. You can... and I'm just using S to scale. See there? I don't know. I've got an axle or something. So yeah, um, you can even can even go back to this and hit extrude, and then if you right-click on a extrude, it'll leave all these faces here. So now we can scale it, go like that. And if I want, I can go like this. And I've got it's almost like a cup or something. So all sorts of stuff you can do with just extrude and scale. See? So yeah.